Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So after a couple of how to get the look videos, we are back to filming makeup basics. Yes, by all your recommendations, we are back to filming makeup basics. So uh, let's get to the point. In today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to find and match the correct undertone for your foundation. Yes, you heard it right, the undertone. Shopping for foundations can get pretty overwhelming. Like, we all want to look good, but we have no idea how to go about the process of choosing the right foundation for our complexion. So what we do is we end up walking into a store, do a couple of swatches on your wrist, and finally end up buying the foundation which a store girl recommends. Right? <laughs> Don't worry, we've all been there, done that. So in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about undertones. We are going to explain what they are and we will also have a visual demonstration so that you can see that in action and apply it to yourself. Okay, so let's get started. Please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Means a lot. Okay, so let's talk about undertones. It's okay to be a little confused about undertones as the entire thing is a little bit scientific but hopefully I should be able to clarify some stuff for you guys. So let's talk about undertones in general. Okay. So let's start by clarifying what an undertone exactly is. An undertone is a color from underneath the surface of your skin that affects your overall you. Remember your undertone will never change. It is constant. Generally we have three undertones. The cool undertone which are generally on the uh, pink or redder side, warm undertones which are towards the yellow golden side and neutral undertones. These are the kind of people who have a little bit of both. Uh, so they are cool as well as warm undertone. So that's it. Three undertones. Cool, warm and neutral. So you know what that means. Uh, when you go to buy the right foundation, it's not only about how light or dark you are in the shade card, uh, but you also need to know uh, how much pinker or yellower or neutral uh, a color you need to have in that foundation so that it perfectly matches your complexion. But before we uh, start talking about undertones, we need to know about something called as a surface tone. Okay, so what are surface tones? Surface tones are exactly what it sounds like. It is the color of your skin which appears on the surface. Okay, so these are the colors which may change. They might change with season or they might change on an everyday basis. Like say, for example, you've uh, climbed a couple of floors and you are flushed on the face. Or maybe you've uh, come back from a really great beach vacation and you've got a gorgeous tan. Okay, so these are your surface tones and not, and not, repeat, and not your undertones. Which means that you can still be red on your face and yet have a yellow undertone. Uh, now these surface tones can be really tricky, okay. These surface tones can trick you into buying the wrong shade of foundation. I'm sure we all have. Um, so uh, you might have some redness around your face or your cheeks or you might have rosacea. Which, you, which might trick you into thinking that you are a cool undertone. Or maybe you're back from a, a beach vacation and have a gorgeous tan, like I said. Uh, you might uh, be tricked into thinking that you have a warm undertone. Nah. So you want to make sure that when you're matching your foundation, you're matching it to your undertone and not the surface tone. Have you uh, ever felt that when you're wearing your foundation, it ends up looking like a mask? or maybe it turns ashy and grey after some time, then that is because you haven't matched it to your undertone. So now let's come to how to actually determine your undertone. I will be telling you four ways of doing that. Number one, look at the color of your veins in natural light. If your veins appear to be green, then you are probably a warm undertone. If your veins appear to be purplish, then you're probably a cool undertone. And if your veins appear to be both greenish somewhere and purplish somewhere, then you're definitely a neutral undertone and really lucky because anything can go with your complexion. Now, in case you're wondering why this is, you need to know that your veins are basically blue in color. 
okay so if your skin has got a yellowish cast to it then your veins will appear green because yellow plus blue is equal to green makes sense right conversely if your skin has a reddish cast to it then your veins will appear purple because blue plus red is equal to purple i think i'm making sense number 2 Hold a piece of gold and silver jewellery against your skin. If you think that gold complements your skin, then you're probably a warm undertone. And conversely, if you think silver goes well with your skin, then you're probably a cool undertone. And of course, if both look good, then you're lucky and you're a neutral undertone. Number 3. And this one's the easiest. Walk into your nearest Mac or a Sephora store and ask the store guys for your perfect match. These guys are trained to help you find the right shade of foundation depending on your undertone. So yes, just go ahead and pop out the question, what undertone am I? And those people will help you with your undertone. Simple. Number four, there is a surefire way to know your undertone and that is what I prefer personally to do and that is what we're exactly gonna do now, okay? So basically, I'm going to stripe that foundation uh, right down the sides of my face with no makeup on and a natural light, okay? Uh, so I'm going to do a, a really long stripe on the side of my face, starting from my cheek all the way down to my neck because we want to make sure that we see the foundation right next to your face which might have a certain surface tone and down to the neck which is very uh, close to a true undertone. Okay, so uh, yes, let's get striping. So I have three foundations in the same depth, that is uh, the light to dark zone, but of different undertones. Okay, so uh, we will visually see how and which foundation uh, suits best for my complexion. Okay, so uh, yeah, I will be using a, a pack a concealer brush for swiping the foundations across the sides of my face. So let's get started. So let's make it as real as possible. Uh, so when you walk into a store, you usually have makeup on. So I do have my makeup on right now. Uh, but when you're doing the striping test, you need to have no makeup. So uh, what do you do? Do you not wear makeup and go? You don't have to do that. Just walk in with your makeup. Use a makeup remover which is available to the store and a swab which they will happily give you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I just need to stripe the foundation from the sides of my face here. So I'm going to clear a, a little area, uh, this part, uh, with the makeup remover. Okay, let me give you a closer view to my skin. I like that. Yeah. We will start off by clearing a small patch with a clean cotton swab and makeup remover. I will first go with this cool toned foundation from Wet n Wild and start from the face right down to the neck where we really want to see how this color looks when it dries down okay uh, because a lot of times it changes color as it dries. Also if you notice here on my face this color kind of starts to work like say if I have to shear it down a little. It might just blend in with my face but that's only because I have a little bit of pink surface tone on my face but as I come down to the neck where my true undertone is this color starts to look kind of off I mean a little pink and also as it dries down you will see that it even turns ashy so here what do I learn I learn that since this is a pink and a cool undertone color I would want to try something which is more golden next time so now I will swipe a foundation which is like warm and golden and see if this works. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC35. So look, now what we can clearly see is that this yellow warm undertone foundation is definitely more suitable to my skin even though it is looking too golden. So what do we conclude? We can conclude that even in goldens and pinks, there are different levels when it comes to foundations and just because the undertone matches, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is the right amount of undertone. This means I will now try one foundation which is still kind of in the yellow family but a little less warm, tending towards neutral, okay? 
In the meantime, did you notice how the first foundation has changed color and has become more pink? Okay, so now I will try one more stripe of a foundation which is warm but more towards the neutral side. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte. Oops, I kind of overlapped it on the second one. <laughs> but nonetheless, so you can see we can clearly distinguish between the three foundations now. The first one was pink, the second one was very yellow and the third one is warm but a little less yellow and practically blending right into my neck here. Let me share it out a little more so that you can see the match. So although my natural tendency would make me gravitate more towards the second foundation because it is a, a more suitable match to my face, I do need to go with the third foundation because although it may appear to be lighter on my face, it is true to my undertone. So yes, I have buffed up the rest of the foundation on my face uh, and I am back. Uh, so which one did you think was the closest match to my complexion? Number three was the correct match for my complexion for my undertone uh, because see I did the rest of my face with the same foundation and it, it flawlessly matches the rest of my body. It doesn't look like you know I have a mask on or it hasn't gone grey and ashy uh, as it would had I used a second one. The second foundation which was also a warm undertone foundation uh, although it matched my surface tone it did not match my undertone so it is very important that you choose the right foundation according to your right undertone and not the surface tone. So I hope I could make you understand what an undertone is and how important it is to know yours. Determining the correct undertone is literally the key which can make a difference between a foundation that can make you look like a floating head and a foundation that looks like second skin. So yes, now that we are more educated and informed, the next time you walk into a store, please do take a few more minutes to do the foundation striping process or maybe ask a professional staff to do it for you and make sure that you spend your money at the right place. I will see you the next time with another video. Till then, stay beautiful. Bye.